So one of the things we learned about Tim Waltz is not only is Tim Waltz's family voting for Donald Trump, but Tim Waltz's wife's boyfriend is voting for Donald Trump. So there you have that. It, this stuff is absolutely nuts. And uh, before we get into this video, shout out to Benny Johnson. Before we get into this video, I just want to uh, show you guys a quick tweet I found on X. Do we still call them tweets now? Uh, I found on X from Trump War Room. Shout out to Trump War Room. And uh, the post says, CNN, President Trump was treated almost as though he is a sitting president on the ground in Georgia. As Kamala and Biden were back in D.C. desperately trying to act like they didn't botch the hurricane response. President Trump is clearly taking this seriously. This is regarding the hurricane that has recently taken over. This this stuff is nuts. Prayers out to the families, okay? This stuff is serious. And we're going to get right into this clip. He is being treated not just as a former president, but almost as though he is a sitting president. As Boris, you just noted, getting a briefing from FEMA, getting a briefing from the National Guard, that is not something that is typically just offered to a candidate. They are treating him as though he is a former president who is there to help. And one thing that I had noticed earlier during our 1 p.m. conversation was that Donald Trump did not have that much to offer in terms of resources since he is not a sitting president. But I will note that he and the campaign say that they have arrived in that area with trucks full of supplies that they plan on giving out. So there is something there for them to offer. He also said that he had a tanker truck full of gasoline, which obviously, if you've ever covered one of these storms, you understand that one of the first things and hardest things to come by is gasoline. So he said that he was going to be giving that out. He is clearly taking this seriously as a politician is on the ground trying to show that he is there in support of the people on the ground in Georgia. Yeah, so with this clip right here, I just wanted to just cover some more of what's going on with this whole storm, this storm and everything like that. Uh, YouTube definitely tried to hit my video that I recently just dropped about this topic of uh, just just really just going in on, a little bit on the Kamala Harris's response versus Trump's response. And I, I, I stated in my last video, and I'm going to state it again, I really think that Trump uh, is just showing the people that he's for the people. And this is by actually like giving a crap, okay, and actually getting down on the ground with the people, okay, seeing the damage that that uh, these people have uh, been hit with, and that they've they've how they've lost businesses and how they lost their homes and how families were hurt by this storm and everything like that. He's he's literally just boots on the ground, and that's something that I think is really important for people to see because you know the mainstream media is going to sit here and say Trump is this bad person and is this villain, but. He consistently shows other, otherwise. So I just wanted to put that out there because um, my last video may not get as much exposure because, you know, talking about that topic is it, kind of getting shadowed a little bit. So we're going to jump right into this. Uh, shout out to Benny Johnson. And I will be giving my per uh, comments periodically throughout the video. More so on the back end. And welcome to the King Squad. This is the best reaction channel on YouTube. You guys are awesome. You know that. And don't anybody tell you different. Let's go actually for the news cycle. And that is that Democrats will choose a Marxist to be their nominee as president. To be their entire ticket, in fact, we're learning some very interesting things about Tim Walls, who is serving in the most Marxist possible ticket imaginable. A lady who didn't win a single vote, didn't win a single primary, hasn't done a single interview, was just selected by the elites to be in charge. Who'd she pick as her vice president? Most people thought it was going to be the guy from Pennsylvania, a guy named Josh Shapiro. Made a lot more sense. But instead, Kamala goes with this dude, this really weird gesticulating, uh, limp-wristed, a uh, very soy <laughs> individual named Tim Walls, who is just really creepy and has a lot of problems. And here's one of them. A whistleblower with the government who blew the whistle to government oversight about U.S. intelligence uncovering verified links between the Communist Chinese Party and vice presidential candidate Tim Walls. Well, this is interesting. Is Kamala Harris picking Tim Walls? because he's a Chinese communist asset and they're going to assist in her victory? Is this where all the dark money is coming from, the flowing into Kamala Harris? Uh, you know this happened with the Bidens. You, there's a paper trail of this happening with the Bidens. Is it happening all over again? Is it much, much worse? During the 118th Congress, this is a letter to Alejandro Mayorkas in charge of the Department of Homeland Security. During the 118th Congress, the Committee on Oversight and Accountability has conducted a government-wide investigation on how federal agencies are addressing infiltration and influence by the Communist Chinese Party. 
This infiltration and influence tactic is a facet of a larger Cold War that the CCP utilizes in unrestricted warfare against America. CCP considered its main enemy during its briefings with over 20 federal agencies in an investigation. The committee has learned of the emphasis on the CCP has placed on influencing subnational government leaders, including governors. Along those lines, the committee has recently received whistleblower disclosure informing the committee of serious concern among Department of Homeland Security personnel regarding the longstanding connection between the CCP and Minnesota Governor Tim Walls. Specifically, through whistleblower disclosures, the committee has learned of a non-classified Microsoft Teams group chat among DHS employees entitled uh, NFT Biweekly Sync that contains... Group, uh, information about Governor Walls that is re relevant to the committee's investigation. The committee has also learned further relevant information regarding Governor Walls has been memorialized in both classified and unclassified documents in the control of DHS. The attached subpoena requires DHS to produce these documents and communication regarding Governor Walls' connections to the CCP. The subpoena is issued pursuant to this rule and this rule of the House of Representatives Committee rules. The committee investigation of the CCP begun long before Governor Walls was elevated to the vice president candidate and Democrat presidential candidate for Kamala Harris, seeks to understand the extent of the CCP's infiltration and influence campaign, ident uh, identify legislative reforms to combat uh, communist political warfare targeting prominent Americans and elite capture. The, in particular, the state governor of a major political party's nominee for vice president of the United States has been wittingly or unwittingly participating in the communist Chinese party's efforts to weaken our nation would strongly suggest that there's an alarming weakness in the federal government's effort to defend America against CCP political warfare and influence. It needs to be urgently addressed. Along those lines, the committee is currently considering legislative solutions uh, to ameliorate deficiencies. It it already has identified among government agencies uh, strategies and to combat CCP political warfare. The information required by DHS by the committee subpoena will inform the committee's understanding of how successful the CCP has been at waging political warfare uh, in the United States. Wow. So he's saying that he's, he's a commie. He's working with the Communist Chinese Party. This is signed Chairman James Comer. This is very interesting. Nobody visits China 30 times. Tim Walls honeymooned in China. Bernie Sanders honeymooned in the Soviet Union. This, isn't this interesting how this works? Tim Walls honeymooned in China. He he like he went to China 30 different times. Why would you go to China 30 times? Dude, you're an asset. I don't, I don't think it's unwittingly. You're an asset. James Comer, of course, the guy who uncovered all of these connections to the Biden family. Jesse Kelly saying nobody goes to China 30 times. Nobody... I've ever, I've never been anywhere 30 times in my life, let alone a foreign nation. Imagine the dirt that China has on Tim Walls. That's right. Were they offering him like free trips to China in order to hoover up all the data on his phone, in order to plant a seed, in order to make him an asset? Is this why Tim Walls is somebody who locked his state down, created commie snitch lines in Minnesota? Uh, and, and created every conceivable like socialist and Marxist regulation in the destruction of that state? Is this why Tim Walls is openly advocating and cheering on the destruction of his state? Minnesota is like a totally good and peaceful state. Now it's a hellscape. Everyone's trying to flee Minnesota. The population is collapsing. This is why Tim Walls is so scared for the debate with J.D. Vance. Tim Walls fighting nerves ahead of debating Vance, sources say. CNN panel says that uh, Tim Walls is having a hard time keeping up with his nerves under control the debate with J.D. Vance. Aides say Walls has expressed a lack of confidence in his ability to go up against a very well-trained lawyer type of Vance. Walls is also feeling pressure. Bad performance will disappoint Kamala Harris, who has already privately expressed frustration with Walls' awkwardness and blunders on the campaign trail, such as referring to her as a prostitutor. Glenn Walls, that's Tim Walls' wife, is angry that her husband is being put through the humiliation. They could just have an, in, an inflatable, arm-wavy, two-man guy go out and debate for Tim Walls. Comer subpoenas DHS record relating to Walls' alleged ties to Communist Party. See, this, this, this is how it's done, boys. This is the headline that you need. Whistleblower notified Comer of non-classified DHS group chat with intelligence on Tim Walls being a dirty communist. You know, he does look like Mao Zedong, doesn't he? He has the same haircut and everything. This is, of course, a uh, very bad timing because the debate is just a few hours from now. 
You know, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow night. Donald Trump has been opening up big leads in election models. Now the election is almost, almost in Trump's column and leaning Trump. Real clear politics now has Trump winning again and winning Pennsylvania. There is no path for Kamala Harris if, if she doesn't win Pennsylvania. And some of uh, the larger and more important members of Congress who are also running for Senate here in the swing state of Michigan are saying that Kamala Harris is totally underwater in the internal pollings, not the fake polls that are, of course, all paid for by Barack Obama and the Democrat elite. Uh, these are the real polls done of real Michiganders. Uh, here's the Senate candidate for Michigan. This is a, I, I, I'm not feeling my best right now about where we are on Kamala Harris in a place like Michigan right now. We have her underwater in our polling. Uh, uh, okay, that's not good. When Donald Trump goes to Michigan, it looks like this. Freaking majestic. Donald Trump goes to Michigan. I mean, look at that. Look at the size of these audiences. Look at that. Crazy, dude. This was Donald Trump in Michigan last week. One thing is clear, Americans want Trump back in office. That's right. Rasmussen still has President Trump clinging very stubbornly on to his two and three point advantages. Has Trump winning in North Carolina <laughs> and virtually tied in Virginia? Dude, this is crazy. New polling out today has Donald Trump winning uh, effectively every single swing state, including Pennsylvania. CNN saying Kamala Harris is the worst Democratic performance in a generation with union voters, which are, of course, all important inside of states like Michigan. Right? Auto manufacturing, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. Tim Walls got booed when he went to the Michigan game in total humiliation. <laughs> Tim Walls got uh, told to go F himself when he went inside the stadium. Some say that he uh, flipped off flipped off the fan. They yelled Trump 2024. I'll let I mean I'll let you decide. Uh, but you know, bold bold strategy, especially if you are a uh, Marxist, especially especially if you're a, a dirty communist from the CCP. Insane, or just like a total weirdo, right? Like Tim Walls will lose because he's just a weird dude. Here's a video that they voluntarily paid 60 years to come here. Yeah. I'm talking about religious experience. Yeah. <laughs> Who laughs like that? The freaking Joker. Who, who move like, if somebody says, what's up, dude, do you ever go like this? What's up, man? One coach to another, man. The only time he was actually comfortable is when he was squatting, kneeling lower than all the cheerleaders with the cheerleaders. What a creepy weirdo. I can't wait for JD Vance to kick this Marxist ass. Really, really deep stuff there. Really deep stuff. What do you guys think about that? OK, I, I personally wouldn't really be surprised to see that uh, uh, Tim Waltz and Kamala Harris have these ties. OK, because I, I look at the agenda that they're pushing in America and the way they're uh, doing things like the policies they put in place and just let alone what they stand for. OK, especially with Tim Waltz, I, like to me, I'm watching Kamala Harris trying to pander to independence, and then she has Tim Waltz as her vice president, and you see everything he's done in Minnesota. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he was he had these ties to China and all this other kind of stuff, and he's he's this super secret agent sent here to sabotage America. <laughs> I just wouldn't be surprised. I just that's not something that would really surprised me. Uh, I think it's definitely something that we have to you know take a stand against more so you know, and, by, and that's by voting red. Uh, that kind of stuff and really continuously getting this message out. So that's what we, what we will continue to do uh, and supporting that message, you know, because a lot of people, you know, are still sheeple. A lot of people are still asleep. A lot of people really don't even know these things about Tim Walls. I was talking to a few people out and about just in just in my daily errands, right? My daily errands. And I'm over here saying, yeah, this Tim Walls guy is something else. Like, do you even know the stuff that he gets into? And they were like, Who, who's Tim Walls? I'm like, what do you mean? Who's Tim Waltz? Okay. And they're saying, uh, who I'm saying, this is Kamala Harris's vice president. You know, the person she chose to run with her. Okay. They're like, 
Who's that? Tim Waltz. Oh. Well, why why are you just so you mean to tell me you're just randomly voting for Kamala Harris? It was like, yeah, well, yeah, she's she's great. I mean, she's got a cool vibe to her. She's black. She's a woman, you know, first female president, all this other kind of stuff. I'm like, (sighs) (laughs) what? Oh, my gosh. I'm sitting here like, hey, uh, you know, the policies matter, right? Like, you know, the next four years of your life is on the line. Knock, knock. (laughs) Socialism is trying to come through the door. Knock, knock, who's there? Unfortunately, socialism is trying to get in there, okay? So, it's, it's really it's really wild. So, I'm going to continue getting these videos out, you guys, so you guys can know what's going on and, and continue to share these videos. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. As always, you guys are awesome. You guys are the bomb.com, you guys. And I appreciate each and every single one of you guys for tuning into this video. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you didn't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.